So in this Friday Night Quickie, I want to give you guys a quick tip, a guide, if you will, to help make tuning a drum kit in your studio just a little bit easier. So let's get into it. All right, now when it comes to tuning, we all know that guitars have it super easy. Literally plug in a tuner and 10 seconds later, boom, your guitar's in tune. A drum kit on the other hand, well, that's an entirely different can of worms. Being able to tune a drum kit, let alone tuning it well, is an art form unto itself. This is why it's not uncommon for drummers who've been playing for years or even decades still don't really know how to tune their drum kit well. This is also why if you have a big budget to go to a studio, so much of that time is devoted just to getting the drums just right. And that's before the drummer even sits down to play the damn things. Now there's something you have to remember when you think of tuning a drum kit. You can have your drum kit tuned and have it sound pretty good. It could even sound great or amazing. Now you take that same kit into the studio and how you've tuned that kit, even though it sounds great on its own, might not necessarily work for the song you're trying to record. So we got to consider that as well. And this is where a lot of time can also be wasted because you think, okay, the drums sound good. Throw the mics up. Maybe you spent an hour or two just kind of fine tuning the drums. God knows how much time putting all the mics up. You start recording, you play the recording back, and yeah, the drums sound great, but they don't work with the song. The tuning in the kick drum, it's too high, it's too low. The intervals and the toms don't work with the song. Well, crap, well, now you gotta go back, retune all the drums, which is gonna take another hour, two hours, four hours, depending on your drum kit. Son of a! Reset all the mics back up, and then have another go at it and hope this time it works. If it still doesn't work, you're back to square one again, retuning the whole, the whole shabazz. And you could be at this for days. So this is where this little trick is gonna help you out. So here's the premise of this. Open up a drum library, not for the sake of replacement or anything like that, but just open up a drum library. Doesn't matter which one, load up a preset that happens to work with the song that you're working on. Not 100%, but just in the ballpark. If you're doing a Zeppelin style track, you're not gonna put super dry drums on it. So pick a patch that is in the ballpark to work with your song. Now program just a couple of bars of the song, two, four, eight, whatever you need, and then play that section back and listen. Now, one of the perks with drum samples, most drum sample libraries are going to give you a way to retune each drum, just like this. So listen to the kick. Does that pitch work with the song or should you pitch it down? Should you pitch it up? Make the adjustments. You're going to find a sweet spot where, oh, that pitch works really well. Do the same thing with the snare. Do the same thing with the toms. Then once you've got all that working, what I want you to do is save that preset, assuming you've had to make tweaks to it to get it to work, and then use that as a guide to tune your drums. Now you don't have to tune your kit to 100% match the samples, but it gives you something to shoot for instead of just blindly tuning and hoping that it works with the song. And then the reason you want to save that as a preset is because maybe you're tracking 10 songs and maybe the drummer hits really hard and by the third song, maybe the toms are starting to come out of tune again and you got to retune them a little bit. Well, now you can pull that preset back up and you have a reference to go to, to compare. And you don't even have to use this trick just in the studio. You can do the same thing just to get a general tuning of your drum kit. And again, save that as a preset once you've kind of figured in tunings that you like, and then you always have a reference to go back to instead of going, oh God, how did I tune my toms again? All right, so this being a quick tip video, I didn't want to go too far down the rabbit hole with this subject, but if you have questions or want to know a little bit more, just leave a comment down below. And if it's warranted, I'll make a follow-up video for this. And on that note, I just want to thank you all for watching and hopefully you got something out of this to try. Hope you guys all have an awesome weekend and I'll see you in the next video. So take it easy. Bye.